Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Evening Prayer. This is Sunday, the 16th week in Ordinary Time. Our evening prayer begins on page 418 this evening. Let's pray together. O God, come to our assistance. O Lord, make haste to help us. Be present with us, Lord, for it is evening. The day which you have given us is nearly complete. Be our light and scatter the darkness from our midst. Hear us as we lift to you our evening prayer and praise. Let my prayer rise before you like incense, my uplifted hands like an evening sacrifice. Alleluia. I have called on you, Lord, come to me quickly. Listen to my voice when I call to you. Let my prayer rise before you like incense, my uplifted hands like an evening sacrifice. Set a guard on my mouth, O Lord. Keep watch at the door of my lips. Don't incline my heart to any evil thing, to deeds of wickedness with those who are sinners. Don't let me share in their feasting. Let the godly strike me. It will be a kindness. If they correct me, it's like oil on the head. Let me not refuse it. Let my prayer rise before you like incense, my uplifted hands like the evening sacrifice. When evil rulers are thrown off the sides of a cliff, the people will hear my words, for they are well spoken. Like rocks brought up by the plow, so the bones of the wicked will lie scattered at the mouth of the grave. My eyes look to you, Yahweh my Lord. In you I take refuge, don't abandon my soul. Keep me safe from the trap set by evil doers, from the snares which they have laid for me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let my prayer rise before you like incense, my uplifted hands like the evening sacrifice. Alleluia. The day is now past, and the evening is at hand. Let us pray with one heart and mind. Yahweh, receive the prayer and praise we offer you as our evening sacrifice. Make us a light for all the world, delivered by your power from all the works of darkness. Amen. Our hymn is hymn number 21, page 735. O gracious light, pure brightness of the ever-living Father in heaven, O Jesus Christ, holy and blessed. Now as we come to the setting of the sun, and our eyes behold the vesper light, we sing our praises, O God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You are worthy at all times to be praised by joyful voices, O Son of God, O giver of life, and to be glorified throughout all creation. May the God of hope fill us with joy and peace. Alleluia. Oh, how I love your instructions. I think about them all day long. Your commands make me wiser than my enemies, for they are my constant guide. Yes, I have more insight than my teachers, for I am always thinking of your laws. I am even wiser than my elders, for I have kept your commandments. I refuse to walk on any evil path so that I may remain obedient to your word. I haven't turned away from your regulations, for you have taught me well. How sweet your words taste to me. They are sweeter than honey. Your commandments give me understanding. No wonder I hate every false way of life. May the God of hope fill us with joy and peace. Alleluia. I wait quietly before God, for my victory comes from Him. He alone is my rock and my salvation, my fortress. Where will I ever be shaken? So my enemies against one man, all of them trying to kill me. To them, I just, I'm just a broken down wall or a tottering fence. They plan to topple me from my high position. They delight in telling lies about me. 
They praise me to my face, but curse me in their hearts. But all that I am, wait quietly before God, for my hope is in Him. He alone is my rock and my salvation, my fortress, where I will not be shaken. My victory and honor come from God alone. He is my refuge, a rock where no enemy can reach me. O oh, my people, trust in him at all times. Pour out your heart to him, for God is our refuge. Common people are as worthless as a puff of wind, and the powerful are not what they appear to be. If you weigh them on the scales together, they are lighter than a breath of air. Don't make your living by extortion, or put your hope in stealing. And if your wealth increases, don't make it the center of your life. God has spoken plainly, and I have heard it many times. Power, O God, belongs to you. Unfailing love, O Lord, is yours. Surely you repay all people according to what they have done. May the God of hope fill us with joy and peace. Alleluia. Christ Jesus was revealed in the flesh and vindicated in the spirit. He was seen by angels and proclaimed among the nations. Believed in throughout the world, he was taken up in glory. This will be made manifest at the proper time by the blessed and only sovereign, who alone has immortality and dwells in unapproachable light. May the God of hope fill us with joy and peace in believing. Hallelujah. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our scripture tonight is from Hebrews, the 12th chapter. You have come to Mount Zion, to the city of the living God, the heavenly Jerusalem, and to countless thousands of angels in a joyful gathering. You have come to the assembly of God's firstborn children, whose names are written in heaven. You have come to God himself, who is to judge over all things. You have come to the spirits of the righteous ones in heaven who have now been made perfect. You have come to Jesus, the one who mediates the new covenant between God and people, and to, be, to the sprinkled blood which speaks of forgiveness instead of crying out for vengeance like the blood of Abel. The Almighty has done great things. He has prepared a banquet for me. Therefore I will dwell in his house forever and sing the glory of his name. Alleluia. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior. For he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our ancestors, to Abraham, and to his offspring forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Almighty has done great things. He has prepared a banquet for me. Therefore, I will dwell in his house forever and sing the glory of his name. Alleluia. Generous God, we thank you for your persistent mercy, revealed in passionate love of Christ. Hear us tonight as we glorify you. For those things which we have accomplished that are pleasing to you, we give you thanks, Lord God. For the example of loving parents and diligent teachers, we give you thanks, Lord God. For the innocence, openness, and joy we see in children, we give you thanks, Lord God, and for the many works of Christian compassion 
out and going throughout the world. We give you thanks, Lord God. In your love, you show your care for people in every circumstance. We are aware of many needs, and in particular tonight, we pray for the following intentions. For those who struggle with doubt and despair, hear us, Lord, for your mercy is great. For people afflicted with chronic diseases, hear us, Lord, for your mercy is great. For those who are neglected, abused, and abandoned, hear us, Lord, for your mercy is great. For those who are called to special ministries and unique vocations, hear us, Lord, for your mercy is great. And for our brothers and sisters in the Methodist, Wesleyan, Holiness Churches, hear us, Lord, for your mercy is great. In the power of the Spirit, we also lift before you the needs and intentions that are close to our hearts. Lord, I thank you personally, myself, that my elbow healed. I've been released from the doctor. And I'm back to doing whatever I want to do again. Father, help me. Help me stay healthy. Be with me, Lord, as I go in for injections in my in my spine on Tuesday, that the injections work and the pain on my legs subsides. Father, I pray for all those that are suffering with similar illnesses. For Lord, you let us suffer. You let things happen to us that we might be humble, that we might be dependent on you, that we might be able to feel the needs of others and minister to them. Lord, I pray for all those that are suffering, all those hurting, all those in pain. With confidence, we lift all these needs before the Father, uniting them with the perfect prayer our Savior has taught us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Father ever faithful, you love us and bless us in Jesus Christ, your Son. By him alone you are perfectly glorified. At this evening hour, may your Spirit in us sing the marvels of your salvation. For you live and reign forever and ever. Amen. O only begotten Son and deathless Word of God, for our salvation you were incarnate of the Blessed Virgin Mary, becoming one with us without the loss of your divinity. You were crucified, O Christ our God, trampling down death by death. You are one of the Holy Trinity, glorified with the Father and the Spirit. Save us who cry out to you. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit, for it is you who will redeem me, O Lord my God. And now, O Lord, dismiss your servants in peace, for your word has been fulfilled. Our eyes have seen the salvation you have displayed in the sight of all the peoples, a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. May the glory of the Lord rest upon us, and in his peace may we be blessed. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. May God's help remain with us always, and with our loved ones, both near and far away. May God grant to us a quiet night and a peaceful death. And may souls of the faithful departed through the mercies of God rest in peace. Amen. My brothers and sisters, thank you for joining me this evening in prayer. The time went so fast. It was so short, but we got to pray together once again. Be a blessing to those around you. Use the struggles you face to minister to the needs of others. Other people need understanding, and we go through what we go through that we might minister to others. And may God bless you and keep you. Amen.